Hello, good evening, and welcome to another episode of In the Upper Room. I am Michael Riley. I am Shauna Roy. And we are happy to see you again. Shauna, I walked in on the set tonight, and what? It, listen, I'm speechless. Because we're backwards, first of all. We're on the opposite side of the studio, yeah, so that's weird. Yeah, weird yeah. and wonderful. Okay. Right, right, in a good way. In a good way. But it just feels like, what's happening? Where am I? I, I was <laughs> like, man, listen, this is Hollywood. I, I got to get a makeup artist and all of that going on now, yeah, man. Yeah, because the lights are different. Everything's different. There's a lot of renovations going on down yes, here at Channel yes. 28, thanks to Lapa. Yes, and yes. Everything looks different, everything feels different, and they're still in progress. This is not even the finished product. I'm telling you, and many of you at home, you've been on the, on the programs here at Channel 28, and you understand our excitement because, uh, you know, when, when, when you have the right stuff, I'm telling you something, we may do with the equipment that we mm -hmm. had before, and everyone, I believe, did an excellent job. But Shauna, I am so excited, so excited to see all of this uh, new equipment. And, and I don't want to throw everything out there because some things are still in progress. Right. But just stay tuned. I hate to sound cliche, but just stay tuned. It's OK. And the funny part is also, I think it's cute that like Aubin and Dave and Keisha, it's like Christmas for them. Oh, yeah. You know? And, oh, it's, yeah. and you know, just showing us around and looking at all the stuff. It's really nice. I, I'm telling you, man, I might even see some Oscars and M M uh, what is it? Emmys. Emmys coming out of uh, Channel 28 in the near future. And it's hard to stay focused. Like I yes. was giving, like we were going through the opening and giving the DVDs, and I'm like, that's a nice screen. Look mm. at the screen. Mm. It's very difficult to stay focused. I'm telling you. And, and I've been watching the programs um, today, and I think everybody is pretty much enthused about it. That's good. So what else is going on with you? Well, what's going on with me is I am feeling the connection with our audience. I'm feeling the connection with our friends. Um, and, and when you have close relationships and they're going through something, mm -hmm. it's been an emotional kind of day and, and you know, the past few weeks. Um, you know, I told you about my good friend um, Andre Johnson and, and our neighborhood on 3rd Street losing Mr. Johnson. Um, my good friend Annie Mae lost her sister yeah. Vicky. And of course, I lost my cousin Chi Chi. And so, you know, I'm sensitized right now. Mm -hmm. I'm sensitized to the climate in our country. Um, I'm sensitized to the climate in our city. So right now, I'm at a I'm at a place of of you know where you you're dealing. Right. What about you? Um, I've been just quiet, just working, and just you know, just quiet. Mm -hmm. Nothing significant going on or anything like that. So it's given you an opportunity to come up with great new things, such as our new opening, and 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 I love it. Kudos. You know what? I found all these editing apps. Apps. Mm. Not even software. Apps. Apps. So a, a couple of those things were made with an app. Don't give all your secrets away. It was hard labor, let me tell you. There you go. There was there all kinds go. of stuff, trickery, you mm. know, just right. magic. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's, you know? Yes, quiet times is when the magic happens. No, it's fun, though. It's oh, fun. Yeah, I love it, too. But um, I keep looking over there. Because so it's weird, because we're over there, and we're, you know, we're not used to... Our That's our camera. Hi, Dave. Hey, Dave. Shout out to Aubin and Keisha and uh, my man, Rob. Look at, look at Aubin. <laughs> uh, uh, Dave, we're going to get you to catch it. No, but uh, shout out to my man, Rob. Rob Mills is in the studio tonight. He's a, he's a, a red devil. What does that mean? Red devil? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's all right. I understand. <laughs> but Wilmington High School, red devils. Okay. The, no, uh, don't forget, I didn't grow up here. Oh, that's right. Okay. That, well, yeah, that has to be it. Because yeah. everybody knows about high school. Uh, that is a legacy. Now, there are several legacies in this, in this um, town. And I'm not going to name them all by name because, you know, those who grew up here, they know who the legacy high schools and rivalries are. But I'm a graduate of Wilmington High School. Rob's a graduate. Um, Andre Johnson, my good friend that I mentioned. Mm -hmm. Former Red Devil, B-Ball, 
That's awesome. Yeah. Have you been playing at all? No. Not not yet. No. I had to give that a no. Okay. But um, I look forward to it, though. All right. Yeah. And what do we have on tonight? You mentioned the basketball team coming on. Yes. I'm going to get with uh, Rob during our break and get some particulars because I guess it's going to be on later in the program. Okay. And I didn't do all of my homework. All right. Well, that makes it exciting. Yeah. Yeah. This time, I don't have to purposely string people along. I literally <laughs> need to get some more information. I'm not playing this time. I'm serious. I would let you know if he was playing. <laughs> now, the other thing that we do want to let you know, we have a programming note for the upcoming um, holiday season. Mm -hmm. um, you may recall that there have been times when we've had demonstrations here in the studio. We had Tai Chi, right. where Michael and I participated. Well, on our December 7th program, we have a very special segment coming up. We were actually, one of my friends invited me uh, via Facebook to their holiday self-defense seminar. And it's like December 13th, it's like two hours, two and a half hours long. And when I saw that, I thought it would be a good opportunity if they, the owner of the, owner of the studio, CrossFit Furion, came on and did a holiday self-defense demonstration for us. I remember one time when Miss Neal was on the program, we had Newcastle County Police come in mm -hmm. and talk about similar ways to keep yourself safe during the holidays because unfortunately, as we know, that's when a lot of you know troublesome behavior starts. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. you know, opportunistic. I have, right, opportunistic people coming out trying to take advantage of things. So we're, we asked Carlo Prosico and his wife Shonda Prosico to come onto the program and just give our viewers and us some tips on staying safe during the holiday season. That's awesome. And one of the other good things about that segment will be they also run, like I said, they run a studio. And you may have heard about CrossFit. You may have heard of it, and you know, like me, mm -hmm. being completely and utterly terrified and intimidated by it because you know what I can't climb a wall I'm just putting it out there but I will try to climb a wall I heard that I've been I known to climb a wall or crash two. to the ground <laughs> in a quivering heat but that won't stop me from trying to climb a wall hey that's all right so we can learn a little bit more about CrossFit while we're at it too. awesome awesome hey you want to go ahead and go to the throne of grace and, and yep let's yeah. do that so Absolutely. at home yeah go. at home please bow your hearts and mind with us while we go to the throne of grace Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity coming to our audience live once again on In the Upper Room, Father. We thank you for the guidance that you've given us in, in teaching us how to be servants via this media, Lord. Um, I thank you for blessing the organization LAPA that has been fighting the good fight in order to uh, upgrade the management and the equipment of this studio, Lord. This is such a very important uh, outlet for the community, Father. So we really don't take it for granted. We, we appreciate having it available to us, Father. So I ask that you bless the hands and the minds of those who are working this equipment tonight so that they can function at their highest level. We ask that you put your covering over Shauna and me tonight, Lord. Give us a, a message of encouragement that we can share with the community, Father. We thank you for sending Brother Rob to us and, and providing us with a guest tonight, Lord. We look forward to that. And I just want to ask, Father, that, you know, you continue to watch over us and our families and, and bless those families at home who are grieving the loss of their loved ones. Heal our communities here, Lord, and indeed let your will be done in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you for that. Oh, you know it's always a pleasure. It's a pleasure. So, you know, the other thing, um, I wanted to let everyone out there know that we have, we still are having our You Are Future Artists segment. So if you have a little artist in your life and they would like to come on the program and share their God-given gift yes. and talent with our viewers, we would love to have them on. We are very excited. Dave told us about a talented young um, young lady that he met. Yes. So we've invited her to come on the program and right. we're looking forward to introducing her to everyone out there. Right, and, and just to reiterate, um, the best way to get in touch with us, um, you know, we, we put our numbers up on the screen, but we also have a website, itupperroom.com. We encourage you to go there as your first mode of um, contacting us. We have a contact page. You can also find out a lot more about the program, what we're doing here. If you're unfamiliar and it's your first time reaching out to us, you can click on the link. They mm -hmm. can see our YouTube segments where we have over probably 600 segments for you to view. And we hope to have you join us and we can upload your segment and, and share it with your family. They don't have to be in Delaware. They don't have to be subscribers of a particular right. station. They can view it all over the world, 
24-7. Yeah, it's funny because um, I, every once in a while I'll get a comment from my nephew or something and he'll say that he was watching some segment. And mm -hmm. So, and then that's another question that we used to always get asked before, right. you know, for people who aren't subscribers yep. to the cable network, they would say, well, where can we see it, you know? Yeah, so we, yeah, we took care of that. And we put everything up there now so you can always click and see it. And then you can also save the link to your interview, your segment, and use it to promote your business. Exactly. Um, I know that the Ransoms do that. They came over mm -hmm. to talk about some stuff, so their video has a lot of hits. A lot of hits and a lot of discussion. And that's what you want. You right. want something that's going to be organic and interactive. Mm -hmm. And the other, the other night, um, I ran into someone and they were saying that they, you know, th they saw their interview on YouTube, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's always good to hear. Yeah. You know what we haven't talked about? What's that? We haven't, are we doing a holiday party? Are we doing a Christmas party this year? I was looking at the Sundays. I'm not sure when we'd fit it in. We're, we're like, we got the synergy because I was thinking about that too. <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll talk about yeah, it. Yeah, we'll talk about it. One of the other things that reminded me is I ran into Emmanuel and Judy Hutt last night. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, every once in a while we meet new people and we extend an invitation. And it always makes me really happy when we invite someone, someone, and they're like, sure, I'll come, you know. Yeah, yeah. And that's what happened with the Hutts. Hi, Judy. Hi, Emmanuel. Um, we invited them to the Christmas party and darn if they didn't show up. They sure <laughs> did. I remember. They stood right over right, there. Right, they did. Yep. So that was really nice. I was getting a cheese stick from my mom the other night. Yeah. And uh, Manuel came up. So, But yeah. we, we will keep you guys at home posted about our holiday Christmas party, which, you know, has been an annual tradition with us. So we're it, looking forward it, to it. It really has. And, you know, Shauna, I also, um, I just want to just throw something out there that um, Councilwoman Loretta Walsh, um, she is, I just, I just love her for, for some reason, um, and I always have. She's feisty, she's fair, and I just respect her. I respect her a lot, you know, and I just, you came on my spirit. If you're watching tonight, um, Councilwoman, I just want to say thank you. Um, thank you because uh, I truly do view you as a good um, civil servant. And, and, and that's not to take away from anybody else. Right. Um, that's I, I respect all of our, um, you know, public officials. public officials, and of course I could name a ton of names, but for some reason she reminds me of, of one of my cousins. Oh really? And, yeah, and and she just stands out. Um, and something about her, she always has a kind word to say, but at the same time, she tells it like it is. It sounds like your feelings for Loretta Walsh are similar to my feelings for Senator Margaret Rose Henry. Okay. You know, I saw her the other day, and I was, well, not the other day, a couple of weeks ago, and I was just, I just felt like, hi, you know, mm -hmm. it was really, really, really wonderful to see her. Yeah, and, and plus, you know, some people make you feel really comfortable that they're on the job. Mm -hmm. Right, You know. right. Yeah, so um, I think that's a good thing. I just wanted, just had to say it. Okay, that's your shout out. That's Do you have any other shout outs? You told me that you, you mentioned already one that you wanted to share. Well, um, listen, I, I just got a shout out to everybody. Um, and I want to thank you for giving me that opportunity because I want to formally say that um, tonight's program, we're dedicating to the memory of uh, Mr. William Henry Johnson, um, who's better known among his friends as Bugs. We're going we're gonna, to um, just, I want to share some, some words about him. Um, and I talked to Andre and his mother, Mrs. Johnson. I know you're watching. You always watch us. And Mr. Johnson never missed an episode of this program. Um, so we've lost we've lost someone who is a part of our family and our in the upper room family. Um, and without viewers like the Johnson family, um, I believe that we would lose something. You know, from 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 the character of the program. Our viewers make this right. program. You and I, we, we, we serve as stewards. And so um, just in reflection, if I could take a minute. Sure. Um, well, Mr. Johnson, uh, he, he, was, he was a neighbor of ours, Shauna, but he was one of those neighborhood fathers. You understand? Um, you, you didn't have to be last, have the last name Johnson to be his son. All you needed to be is within the sound of his voice because he always had a wise word to share with you. He could find you during a down day 
and he'll pick you up, you know. He'll bring you in, sit you down on the couch. Oh, really? Yes, take you out back and sit down with you. Um, was never too busy for you. Um, and he, he raised his, or he reared his children, and his children are just like him. You know, Andre is a selfless, um, actually it's Reverend Andre Johnson. He's very selfless and very loyal to his friends and family. Sheila um, is the same way. And so um, when I received word that, you know, the going home process was near for Mr. Johnson, it was an honor to, to have the, the friendship and kinship to be allowed to go and spend some of his last minutes in this on this earth with him and his family. And I gotta tell you about the family. They love one another. They have a lot of faith. And they are they are just just blessed people. Not to put you on the spot, but no, do no. you have one particular story that stands out to you? Absolutely positively. Uh, after one of our shows, I, I was on my way home now. I live in the 2800 block of West Third. Mm -hmm. Mr. Johnson lives in the 2900 block. And so on my way home, I was, I was turning to come and I saw the light on. And I like to follow the Holy Spirit. And I followed the Holy Spirit in there. And I sat down and I, I was always welcome. Went in and uh, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson said, uh, you know, uh, you and your wife are doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> And so he knew. Yeah. He, he knew we, we, we're partners, but oh, he, he has these little subtle hints right. and ways, you know. He, he, so I thought that was that was a treat because that's him telling me, oh man, she's all right. <laughs> so, we get that quite a bit, actually, I know, though. I, I get know, it by myself, too. Yeah, so, so it was a warm feeling that he, he felt comfortable with us enough to joke with us. I wish you were there. Yeah. Yeah. That was but, a good story. Yeah. Yep, so that, that's what I wanted to say. And also, you know, my friend Annie May is one of my best friends and has been since the 80s, early 80s. And to hear that she lost her sister, you know, just broke my heart. And so I'm a little messed up tonight. Like I said right. at the beginning, um, because I don't want any of my friends to, to go through pain, but I know we all must. And, you know, this is a part of the process. So Annie, if you're watching tonight, you know Michael J. always got your back and love you. And the same thing for my family, the younger family. Okay. Okay. Um, I just want to have a shout out to my mom. Hi, and my dad, Francis Roy. Hey, Mr. And Roy. <laughs> hey, Mom. And uh, also, Perfecting Holiness Deliveries has been on my mind. That the, mm -hmm. They invited us to their, their community event this summer. Yeah. And that I just had a really good time with them. And I have a disc for them that I have to get in the mail with some of this footage that we took. Right. Um, D-Union is on that too. Remember them? Of Those course. Young rappers? Absolutely. So that was really good. That's awesome. Uh, Nadja Nicole has been doing a lot of Tell singing. Me about it. She's all over. She she is. And then I was upset because I didn't realize that she was going to be at the at the, um, Wilmington uh, World Cafe Live mm -hmm. World, mm -hmm. again recently. Like in the last couple of days, she was there mm -hmm. and she posted it. And I'm like, see, now this is your fault, Shauna, for not keeping up, because you could have just gotten, the, you could have walked over there for all that, because that's where I saw her before, and she was fantastic. Man, I'm thinking of Naja, I'm thinking of Harry Spencer doing his thing. Janina. Uh, Janina Williams doing her thing. Jay Wilson is doing his thing. Uh, 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 the Redding Brothers, mm -hmm. they're doing their thing. Trine, she just had a birthday. Happy birthday, Nay Nay. Posey, Trouble Posey. Trouble Posey, he's mm -hmm. got stuff coming out. His dad. His dad does too. Yes. Um, so those, that's Taraz and, and, and his son, Taraz Jr., AKA Trouble. <laughs> I love that. Um, and let me see, it, you know, and, and all of those, those people we mentioned, you know, they've been a part of either um, serving as guests on in the upper room or participating in you are future artists right. you know um, and and I just want to say to Harry and Janina keep the talent coming. coming exactly and you at home don't hesitate if you got a youngster who loves to entertain loves the, the arts there's there's no barrier to keep you from uh, bringing them on we will treat you and your child with the utmost respect and 
we're just excited about young talent. One thing that always amazes me, like when Sydney was here, when Morgan mm -hmm. was here, mm -hmm. especially Morgan, because Morgan was here when she was four years old. I know. But even when Sydney was here, I don't think Sydney had been on TV before. Mm -hmm. And their composure strikes me. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, it's a big deal to be in this room with all the cameras and the lights and the people and the microphone, the right. whole process. Mm -hmm. And then to, to just get out there and just sing, you know, they did a really good job. Morgan is this tall. Well, she was. Yeah, and with a heart this big. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. They're fearless. Mm -hmm. So that's our message to you to get the, the young people in here, and let's keep In the Upper Room's You Are Future Artist program going. And with that, you want to go to a break? Sure. Yeah. So we're going to ask you to stay tuned. We have a couple of announcements to run and a couple of uh, little promos to run, and we'll be right back, hopefully, with our guest. And I, I always wanted to say this. Stay tuned for a message from our sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Let's get the best of 